In this lecture, we will start exploring the Java 11 features starting with the string API updates. To do that, go to Eclipse, create a new Java project, call it Java 11 features. No need of a module. Go to the project, go to the source folder, right click, new, class, the name of the class say string updates with a main method finish. The first of the string updates is the is blank method. So let's define string str is equal to nothing but a ton of blanks inside it. You can add any number of blanks. Let's see what happens when you use the is blank method. Sys out str dot is blank. Right click, run as Java application. And you see that it returns true. So if a string has any number of blanks inside it, it, this method will return a true. Even if it's a single blank, if it has nothing, you will see a true. And if it has even a single character along with blank spaces, run it, it returns false. So the new is blank method helps us with blank strings. If you remove everything, if there is nothing inside it, no other character except blanks, it returns true. Otherwise, it returns false. Next is the lines method. So str is equal to, let's add a string here. I am the creator of my destiny. One of my favorite quotes. And in between these words here, I'm going to add a new line character slash n. Slash n there as well and one more. Let's add one more slash n, a new line character, and I'm leaving the rest as is. Do a sysout. str dot lines is a new method that guy right there. This method, if you point the cursor, it returns a stream of strings by splitting the string using the new line character. So if a string has new lines inside it, it will split it and it will return as a stream of strings which are separated by the new line. So let's see that in action. So you can then stream that str dot line. Since it is a stream, you can say dot collect dot collectors dot to list. You can do whatever you want with that stream. So let's print. Remove that extra dot. We'll also print the string to see how it looks. This is out str formatted. Run the program again. So here you are seeing the actual string being printed and this is the output of the lines method. We are taking the output of the lines method. We are putting it into a list. As you can see, the lines method returns a stream, which we are putting into a list, which is uh, splitting this string wherever there is a new line. I, there is a new line before I and am. So that got cut. So I is a separate word. Am is a separate uh, object now or a string in this stream. Then the is a separate uh, object or string in the stream. And then the last guy creator of the destiny is a separate element in that stream or list. So the lines method will split a given string by using the new line in the string. The third is the strip method. To demonstrate strip method, let's take a character C is equal to within single quotes slash u 2000. So this guy here represents a blank space in any code. There are different values that represent blank space. This is one of the values that is used in Java 2000. Now let's append this str plus is equal to C. So we are appending C to str. Let's do a sys out and see what the result will be str. Run the program right here. So it prints the str. I am the creator of our destiny. There is a blank space at the end of it. If you see the cursor right there, there is a blank space right there. Another way to see it is uh, we can also do st c plus str. That will put the blank space right at the beginning. So you can see it before I run it. You see that blank space right there. So that is a unicode blank space. If you use the str dot trim, Let's see what happens. Trim is there from earlier versions of Java, but trim does not have any code support. So run this. 
you will see that the blank space, the leading blank space still exists at the beginning. That is where the strip method comes in. If you use the strip method that was introduced in Java 11, it can work with any code blank spaces as well. Run the program. Now that blank space is gone. There are two other variations of strip that can be used. Strip leading and strip trailing. So that those will remove the leading blank spaces and the trailing blank spaces for you if you can add them and try. So right now if I run the program, there is no big difference because this guy strip can remove the blank space for us. Let's command these two out. There you go. The first guy works. So if you want to use the strip leading, you can try adding the reason you are seeing this. Let me run that again by uncommenting this. So this here is the output of the last strip method, which is strip trailing. That is the reason uh, it wasn't removing the space at the beginning. It will remove the spaces at the end. So you can add a space at the end of the string like plus C. Let's see what happens. So that guy is gone in the last case, but that guy remains in the previous case. If you see strip leading, the space at the end is still there. So that's how the strip method works. It can work with any code blank spaces. One last cool and easy method to use is a string dot repeat. So do a sysout within double quotes, define a string which is nothing but a hyphen dot repeat, say 100 times, run. See that? It draws a line for you. So if you want to repeat a particular string, it could be any string within your code, you can use the repeat method, give it a number, and that string will be repeated for you.